Tommy, what was your reaction this morning when you heard about Dan being traded to Jacksonville? Yeah, um, obviously Dan was an important part of um, my room and a really great guy who I looked up to a lot and gave me a lot of good points and um, what it's like to be a tight end in the league. And so, you know, is, what we have to focus now is just on our team and what we can do to get better every single week. And so I'm so happy for Dan being able to get another opportunity and be able to show his skill set off um, at Jacksonville, but mostly just working on just improving our room every single day and just play the next play. Were there particular things he talked to you about? You know, I know it's only been a few months, but were there particular things you picked up for him over the course of the last few months? Mm -hmm. I've seen, of course, him being 27, a guy that was undrafted. He told me really that work is the best thing to get better. You know, there's no time you're not working. I always see him going extra hard. We could just be through a walkthrough, and he's still going full speed trying to get better in his stuff. And so I think him just improving on anything uh, and everything you can, one, one rep at a time, is really what he taught me. We're going to Will Palachik followed by Joe Person. Um, what do you feel like you've been able to show in your first three NFL games? I know that you had some limited action in the first one, but last couple of weeks you've really shown out. What, what do you feel like you're doing well, and how do you feel like your game changes now with Dan out of the picture? Mm -hmm. um, I really feel that uh, what I try to do since I got here is just try to be the best in both aspects of the field. You know, I want to make sure I'm getting better in the run game stuff and um, also in the pass game as well, but it's something I work – with Dan when he was gone, uh, uh, Dan when he was here, and now that he's gone, it's still something I can work with my coach, um, Coach Angelico, uh, about. And so he's just trying to get us to improve at least 1% every single day. And I think that's the thing that really ha helps us try to be in, uh, at that elite level. Tommy, did the coaches or anyone talk to you after the trade that, you know, that this was done in part to get you more opportunities on the field? I feel like um, no coaches really came up to me about it. It was, uh, but for us, we know what we want to accomplish. So it was something that really didn't have to be said. You know, it's something that next guy's up. You got to know what you got to do to um, be able to have success on this team and just really just reload and um, just get ready to go. So I wanted to ask you kind of if you had ever would have predicted your first uh, NFL touchdown would have come on a tight end jet sweep. <laughs> yeah, that was that was uh, that was awesome because it was just like really my college experience. My first time touching the ball in college ended up being a touchdown, and same thing in the NFL. Of course, we had the preseason, but I don't count that in the regular season. First time touching it, it was a touchdown, so that was really awesome. What was the play at Notre Dame? Uh, the play on Notre Dame was a uh, seam down the middle. It was a read seam, and um, it just ended up wide open, ended up getting like 25 yards in the end zone. First game of Louisville. It was my first college game. So it was awesome. Ended up getting game ball and everything that day. We'll go back to Darren Gant. Yeah, following up on that, did you play? did you play running back at any point along the way, you know, high school or anything like that? Uh, I grew up playing running back my entire life, really, up until I got to about high school. That's when I switched because um, I had a growth spurt and was super slow, wasn't as good. And so everyone was like, you can just play tight end. Just go play tight end then. But I always – at Notre Dame, I was going to be a starting kick returner for the Michigan game back in, I think, 2019. But it started being like freezing rain. It was like a windstorm the entire time. So they called her off right before game day. So I've done, I've done that kick return and stuff before, which uh, helped me kind of situate that I can run a little bit. Is that kind of an I told you so for all those people who said you were too slow to run now that you <laughs> showed it? Uh, nah, it, it's funny you say that, but I wasn't – I guess you could say that, yeah. All right, we'll go to Scott Fowler. Tommy, um, Scott Fowler from the Charlotte Observer. While we're asking you about specific plays, um, can you describe two of them to us in detail? One, the 30-yard catch that you made on Thursday night, and then also the uh, attempted block you had. I don't remember which game it was that Matt Rules referenced at the time or two that ended up resulting in a sack. Um. 
I think on the 30 yard reception, it was a four vert concept that we had. But um, the second the second I ran the play, I knew it was going to be open by the way the corner buzzed down. And I knew Sam was going to laser the ball right on, right on the money. And so that one was really good. And um, the other one, are you talking about the in this previous game? I guess it was. You were you were back in the backfield and yeah, yeah, it was. I um, think you just kind of got rush blocked back into him a little bit. Mm, on that one, it was uh, it was totally on me. I took a poor angle on um, on my block, and that's the reason that all happened. I didn't take up the space. You know, it was something my coach taught me during the week, but it was something I know I need to know I have to execute. And so um, I'm totally on fault for that one, and uh, it's something I gotta make sure it never happens again. Thanks. All right, we'll go back to Joe Person, followed by Mike Salarte. Tommy, back on that rushing touchdown, you broke a record held by um, Gronk in terms of being the youngest tight end to ever score via the run. Uh, is Gronk a guy, like, like you said, you were a running back, but did you look up to him much and uh, any chance you heard from him after that touchdown? Uh, yeah, I mean, I looked up to Gronk, all those guys, because of course, when they were, when he scored that touchdown, I was 11 years old, you know what I mean? Like, that's how young I was, and so I always looked up to those guys, um, you know, Greg Olson, Gronk, really, Jimmy Graham, those kind of guys, that era was when I was growing up, and I really loved enjoying watching them play, and so it was pretty awesome to hear that um, I ended up getting a record for that. Tommy, Mike Solarte, Spectrum News One. Uh, now that you know Dan has been has been traded away, and you've kind of ascended up the depth chart a little bit, where do you envision uh, the additional advice to a rookie to come from? Is it Ian? Is it coaches? Is it? I mean, how do you learn more of the tricks of the trade when one of the guys that had some of those tricks is now wearing a Jacksonville uniform? Mm -hmm. um, I really feel. The one thing that surprised me when I got to the league was how willing guys are willing to help. Ian, from the day I met him, same with Dan, same with Con Thompson, everybody in that tight end room has tried to help me in any way I can. You know, I've had a question like, hey, do we do this a certain way? What, how's the routine you guys do that? And they've all been like that for me. You know, Coach Ange, um, Grant that we have in the room too, like we all – have been they all have been really helpful for me to try to get myself better and any question I need they always have an answer for me and then if I could just follow up in terms of looking ahead to this week I know you guys are just getting into Dallas now and, and preparing for what they might do defensively what have you seen from from the way that they're covering that position mm -hmm. um, for us we've seen a whole mix of stuff you know we just broke down the film uh, earlier this morning but I think it's a good matchup for us this week. I think um, it's a good matchup, not just for our offense, but somewhere where we can really uh, show that we're a team that can play. You know what I mean? And we want to make sure to just go 1-0 and at the end of each week. You know what I mean? We're all in on Dallas right now, and we're just trying to uh, really do uh, the best we can to the best of our ability. And if I could throw one more at you, when you were drafted, you were a guy that uh, that seemed to – relish the contact, relish the, the physical nature of, of playing the position. You get more of a bang out of throwing a great block or more of a bang out of catching a pass and, and running somebody over. I mean, where, where is, there's a lot of joy in this for you. So where, where does the biggest joy come from? Honestly, every time I'm just able to play on the field. I love doing everything I can to help my teammates. It makes, it makes my job fun. You know, if I can make that block or I can make the catch, like anything that really helps us, it, it brings joy to me. So... I could be put at freaking right guard. And if I can help, I do it. You know what I mean? Thanks, man. Mm. Let's finish up with Will Palachi. Tommy, uh, you've, you were very vocal about the fact that at Notre Dame, you were probably utilized more of a, as a blocker than you were as a pass catcher. What has it been like at this level, I guess, getting more used to looking for the ball and looking to be – obviously more utilized in the past game. Obviously you look for the ball and every play you go out there on a, on a pattern, but, but what has it been like uh, to be utilized more as a pass catcher at this level? Um, it's great. I, I really enjoy it. Um, you know, of course, at Notre Dame, like I said, I wasn't used as much, but at the same time we went to the playoffs, so I didn't have a problem with it. 
And uh, when I'm here now at this level, it's really great to have the kind of staff and uh, players that we have to help me if I had a question. Because I know I didn't really have that much experience, but it's the same thing where if I can go into the game, I know for sure that if I had a question about anything, even though we've over-prepared a ton of times, that those guys are there to help me if I have a question about really anything in the past game. And I love how they've been able to elevate my game at the same time.